Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And this week I'd like to give you another metaphor that I found really helpful in unpacking what it means to be a disciple of new believers. It's based on the metaphor of a midwife. And here's a poem, what I wrote to illustrate that. To birth is not the midwife's task, but to birth a birth. She is a paraclete, one who comes alongside to coach into the open. Teacher of primal articulation, she helps call forth what was already there. Not pain phased or mess repelled, she soothes the way. Her timely hands are quick and slick and without hesitance, with gentle diligence and soft brutality, she tugs out a child. Unapologetic, here come the blades with which to sever the cord and so first stop, then kick start life. When all is said and done, her glory is to hand back glory and disappear. Well, okay, Phil, that was weird. So what was that about? Well, let me explain. The first verse says, To birth is not the midwife's task, but to birth a birth. In the same way that a midwife can't actually give birth to the baby for the mum-to-be, however much the mum-to-be might want that, so the disciple can't do the discipleship for the disciple. They can't do conversion for them. To be born again, that's something that person has to do with the Holy Spirit alone. But the midwife comes alongside to reassure and to assist. She is a paraclete, one who comes alongside to coach into the open. That word paraclete is the Greek word, a title given to the Holy Spirit in John's Gospel. It means literally to call alongside or to speak into the ear as, as one is journeying along. And that's the role of the midwife. Teacher of primal articulation, she helps call forth what was always or already there. That's this idea that in some ways a, a woman's body kind of kicks into gear, autopilot, when the baby starts to arrive the body knows what to do. It's set up that way. In the same way, I think uh, people are hardwired to have a relationship with God. That's how it was intended to be. And so when they start to turn to God, things are set in motion that are kind of spiritually instinctive. And the midwife is there um, kind of just to say, to reassure and say, yeah, that's natural. It's okay to feel that way. Yeah, you feel like you need to push. That's good. It's good to push and, and breathe. Remember to breathe. Uh, and there are times when don't rush, don't push just yet, just need to wait, now go. And, and that's the same with discipling. Not pain phased or mess repelled, she soothes the way. Well, this is the idea that sometimes conversion or journey into faith is messy, especially when they're trying to get rid of the old life. And so uh, we need to be unflustered and unfazed by some of the things that are going to happen in that process. Um, unapologetic, her timely hands are quick and slick and without hesitance. We need to be confident, reassuring, uh, and, and not hesitant as we seek to come alongside people. And that means swatting up, getting to do our midwife studies so that when the time comes, we know what to do and, and how and have that discernment about what's going on. There's nothing more panicking than seeing a midwife panic. With gentle diligence and soft brutality, she tugs out a child. We need to know when to be uh, incredibly gentle, actually, and, and tender with people, but also when to be firm. Actually, sometimes our hands need to be firm in that process. Unapologetic, here come the blades with which to sever the cord and so first stop, then kickstart life. We need to hand the scissors, as it were, to cut the umbilical cords to the old life. We don't want the old life to trail into the new life, for there to be um, loose ends going into the future. We want that person to be able to say goodbye to the old life. And conversion and journeying into new faith is a key time with which to say, let's repent, let's leave behind those things so that they don't carry those into the new life and so sour what would be a wonderful beginning. When all is said and done, her glory is to hand back glory and disappear. This is the idea the midwife hands back the baby at the end of the day, at least you hope so. And the same is true of the disciple. We hand back this gift of faith to the person themselves but also hand back the glory to God and say this was God's doing, all God's doing and it was just a privilege that I was able to come alongside this person this time. We're to disappear, we're to fade back into the background and give glory to God for what he has done. I hope that's been a useful metaphor and provided you some interesting pegs in which to hang your thoughts as you seek to come alongside and encourage those who are journeying into faith.